Hello, in this video, I'm going to show you three ways of connecting your Lenovo LOQ15 to a, a TV. So the first, the most common way is by doing it with a cable. So if you have a cable that on one end is HDMI and on the other end, whatever fits your TV, so probably also HDMI or sometimes it's a display port or VGA, whatever your TV um, takes, uh, then you can plug in, pl pl plug it into your TV and also to your laptop at the back. So I'm just going to connect it. And now if I unlock my laptop, it should just connect automatically. Let's see. Uh, sometimes you need to also change the source on your TV. So to change the source, click on the source button then uh, on different TVs it'll be in different places and then select the correct HDMI port it's connected to. So now it is duplicating the screen which means that on both displays there's the same content displayed. You can also use it to extend so if you click on Windows P on your keyboard then you can set it to PC screen only so it'll only display on the laptop. You can also set it to duplicate, so it'll be displayed. The same thing will, will be on both displays. Then you can also send, set it to extend, so both displays will have different things. And I'm gonna show you how, in a moment how to rearrange it. So now you can see both displays display different things. Then you can also set it to second screen only, so uh, only TV will show uh, the content. Now if you click on more display settings, we can rearrange the TV and laptop. Um, so I'm just going to move the laptop here so it is uh, accurate to the actual state of the setup. And if I move my cursor up now, it moves onto the TV. And if I move it down, it moves back to the laptop. So this is what it means. And now, um, I'm gonna show you the second way uh, of connecting, so it'll be uh, wirelessly, but it'll, it'll still share the whole screen. So I'm just gonna unconnect the cable. Then if I go to the settings, uh, so I already am in the settings, go to system, then go to, um, again, display, multiple uh, displays I believe let's see here yes connect to a wireless display you can also do that by pressing on Windows K on your keyboard and you need to be on the same uh, Wi-Fi network on both devices so um, now I see my TV here so I can select it then on my TV it asks me if I want to allow so I'm gonna just click on OK to allow it to connect The wireless connection will be kind of worse because it'll have worse quality and uh, may lag sometimes. So it depends on what do you need the, uh, the wireless connection for. But if you are planning on watching movies, then either use uh, this method, which, um, which I, uh, the first method with cable or the third method, which I'll show you in a moment. So now it is connecting and it is disconnected, I don't know why, so let's maybe try again. Uh, if it doesn't work, then you can just try it on your own. Uh, it should work sort of the same as with the cable, but it'll just be wirelessly. I think it's connected. Yes. And now I can also click on Windows P on my keyboard to change uh, the setup and all of that. So this is how it looks. And now let me show you the last way. You can see it's kind of delayed. Uh, so now let's go to the last thing, which is casting. So if you go to Google Chrome, I, I've i only found it to uh, work on Google Chrome, but you can test it out on other browsers. Um, then you can either download an extension which is CastBuddy or something else connected with casting, but in Google Chrome it works natively. Um, or uh, so let me explain uh, if you have YouTube enabled 
or any other service that has the cast button inside, then it'll work on any browser. Just select play on TV, then select which TV to play it on. And then that TV, um, okay, so I'm not connected on the to the internet, I think on my um, TV. So, okay, mm, I'm gonna go back. And let's, uh, let's click on confirm and try doing that again. So play on TV, then can I select it? I'm gonna try reconnecting to the Wi-Fi on my TV. Okay, so it says it's connected. Let's try again now. Mm. I'm gonna click on the cast button. Then, uh, okay, I'm gonna close out of the Google Chrome, then reopen it. And I'm gonna go to the history and reopen the website, the YouTube video. Then I'm gonna just, uh, Okay, now I cannot see the casting button. So what I can do is click on three dots here and uh, cast, save and share, then cast. And now it'll look for uh, devices. It should find my TV, it has, so now it should work. Yes, it'll just open the YouTube and cast this way. So let's see if it starts casting. Firm here. Okay, now, now it is casting, I think. So uh, this is how it works. And with the cast button that is inside of the app, you can just easily do it. But in my case, it didn't work. So what I did is click on three dots in top right corner in the Chrome, then um, cast, save and share and click on cast. So this option is great when uh, either the cast button inside of the website doesn't work or if a website doesn't have the cast button, then you can cast it with that. Although um, not all TVs support casting all, uh, all like video players. So um, probably YouTube will be fine, fine, but I'm not sure about Netflix um, or like other um, video providers. It just depends on your TV. Sometimes you can even cast a website and sometimes you can't even cast Netflix. So you need to test it out yourself. And that's all for today. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you next time.